Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you like, comment, okay? And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Listen guys, um, today I'm going to react to a, a YouTuber, Kenyan YouTuber, Caroline Kamani, I guess. Um, and so she's taking us on a mind-blowing tour of the pink sea of Kenya, okay? And so uh, I know you can find, uh, so this must be like a salt lake or something, and I'm really curious to know because I love this kind of content. I love discovering new places from Kenya, and this is going to be mind-blowing, I think so. So let's get straight into this video, let's go. Look at the mountain of sand. Is it sand or salt? Oh, it's a good question. No, it looks like sand. Is it sand? <laughs> okay, because for me it was it was salt, you know? Okay. One side is blue, mm. the other look at that yeah you have one blue side and one pink side fantastic i love this but where is this side is pink like i never even thought i was going to have this hey everyone welcome back to my channel Ooh, oh she's pretty oh she's so pretty nice to meet you you're so beautiful everyone welcome back to my channel exhausting so exhausting but they're fun for those that don't know sea salt is salt produced by the evaporation of okay see okay so it's salt so i wasn't crazy yeah it's salt. sea water and these that you see here these are crystallized salt they've already had the water evaporated and now i'm going to be showing you guys everything step by step so stay tuned <laughs> white skill is salt yeah you have big crystals like that because i remember when we went to magadi they would tell us um is this, oh i re i still remember i was a child it was a school trip and uh so when you go to magadi they you know with the big crystals they crush them and that's when you get the very fine salt that we use uh, in the kitchen so so now we are driving to where the evaporation happens. We've mm -hmm. chosen to drive because uh, walking would have taken quite some time and it's really sunny and the and the salt is really dehydrating me already. Yes. There are two sides of the water and in the middle it's a man-made pathway and it's not just a path, it's there for a purpose. Yeah, I guess to filter, Is it? does it serve to filter the water that goes into the, I don't know. For me, that's how I would look at it. Is it a filter? Wow, 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 that's a pink sea, that's a... Yeah, and the crazy part is, I think there is one in Senegal, and the crazy part is it's natural, they, they haven't added any color additive stuff like that, no. Pink sea, guys, wow, how beautiful is this? One side is blue, the other side is pink, like, I never even thought I was going to have this type of view this is amazing this is out of this world and i'm just super blessed to be here at this moment i'm just i'm just speechless oh my god let me get out so now as you can see here i'm at the middle of this um this uh, partition here this is not just a partition for decoration inside there is a viewer of sea water which has not been touched mm -hmm. and inside there's the one which has um, passed there's a lot of wind from what i got is there is a pipe so there is a pipe that uh, takes the water on the other side so there must be a filter or something for all the particles i'm going to show you that's made 
makes this water pass to this end to go to that end. And when it goes to the other end, it turns pink. And then, I think this is the, the site where the crystallization is happening. And it turns pink. So, what happens when the crystallization is the water evaporates, it stays there for a while, then it evaporates. And then, what remains behind is the salt. How crazy is that? Crazy. Unfortunately, we are not going to see that today, but either way, we are going to be seeing like this is how it all happens, and I'm super grateful for this opportunity. Guys, look at this. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Pink water, pink sea water, it is not dyed. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah, but my question is what, 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 how. What explains the fact that you have one side pink and the other side is blue? And how come the blue side doesn't crystallize and only this side? So does it mean this the pink side is like artificial, man-made? So it's a farm? It's a salt farm? Let me know in the comment section below if you know. So guys, I noticed that the winds were so strong so you guys yeah. couldn't hear me clearly. Though here, I was just trying to show you guys the view and just make you understand that this is super crazy how pink the water is. Mm-hmm. I was just mind blown. I couldn't believe what was happening at that moment that it was so crazy. And I saw little footsteps inside there. So that's what I wanted to show you at this moment and you're about to see them right now. They were like a big footstep yeah. and a small footstep. Look at that. Like They look like a giant footstep. Am I seeing my own things or what? Yeah. That looks like a giant Probably the, the fish farmers go inside just to check that everything is fine. I think they look like human steps. I think that you can go inside and you can walk inside. I don't know. Foot and the mini foot. But otherwise, it is just a beautiful space. And these are those timber that I was telling you that I used to sieve mm-hmm. the water from the other end, the blue water, which right. comes on this end, gets sieved, and then it turns to mm-hmm. pink water, which is now purified and ready to evaporate and leave the salt behind. Wow, wow I'm just mind blown. So here is a close-up, and as you can see, you can see some salt deep inside. Mm-hmm. And then once this water has evaporated, the salt is going to remain behind, and then the workers are going to come and collect it and take it where you guys saw the hills. Mm-hmm. So we are not yet done. We are not yet done. So keep stay tuned and keep watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and like the video if you like this kind of video. Oh, wow. Yeah, but where is this? Um, I don't know if you said. Where, where, which part of Kenya is this? Let me know in the comment section below. Did I miss something at the beginning? Did I? Okay, let me know in the comment section below if you know which part of Kenya this is. If I remember, you, uh, you mix the salt with the, um, what do you call it, with the grass or the animal feed and it's very healthy, full of minerals for the, for the livestock. I know that this salt looks like that sand that's used uh, for construction, but it's not. They're actually going to use it to sell to the people who have cattle because this town i noticed that they really do cut- look at how fast they're digging into the soil you know you can just see they're professional they know what they're doing so no time to waste let's go so keeping a lot a lot so it's not it's not refined salt so they can use it for the cattle instead of just it going to waste. And these guys were really friendly. I really appreciated that because mm-hmm. most people really don't want to be taking photos and all that. But they were really cooperative and friendly. So here they're just measuring and then they pack it up in the counter and then they go and sell it in the market for the people with the animals. Mm-hmm. So the, another question, is it owned by one person or are they all uh is that is it their business or are they employed that would have been interesting to know as well yeah it's crazy wow what a beautiful 
beauty, what a beauty. Look at that, it looks like sand dunes. Wow. wow, look at that. That is simply, simply beautiful. So, and I think that is where the water is. And then you have this, uh, the machine that goes all the way, I think, to the lake and it brings it and it sieves it and it probably crushes it a little bit. So, wow, so the, the equipment is on point. Simply, simply beautiful. And I think that is where the water is. I hope she will say it because I don't think I missed it. These are the salt crystals. These are direct from the evaporation plate. Okay. And then now they get grinded and they are given to you as the normal salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you taste it? Did you taste it? And how do you like it? <laughs> Salt farming in Kilifi County has a long history dating back in 1928. Okay, I have my answer. It's in Kilifi. Okay, I had no idea that we had like a, a, a salt site in Kilifi. Okay, great. Salt Works was established. It is Sorry. indeed up back in 1928 when the Salt Works was established. It is indeed a major industrial sector in kenya so we really value it and mm. we appreciate it and it's good to learn about it and i'm so glad i'm here today to show you guys about it and share it to you for those who don't know how it comes about so finally you can now have a clue of how everything works and yeah you've seen everything through my eyes so tell me down on the comment section if you've ever thought this is how the sea salt is made Oh, wow. Thank you so much for taking us there. That was fantastic. As we were heading back, I had to show you guys how much these people love kettle keeping. Mm -hmm. Like, look, just look. Everywhere we went, every stop, we just saw kettles and kettles and more kettles. So that was quite interesting. That's why the salt mm -hmm. really Yeah, so livestock farming, is it's a, it's a big deal in Kenya, especially when you go outside there. will be the outskirts when you go deep into the remote areas. Yeah, it's, it's a big business. It can be for food, <clears throat> so for meat, for milk, for, you know, for manure. So you have different ways of um, getting some, uh, how can I say, uh, benefiting from livestock farming. So, yeah, I, I, you can just see how green it is, you know. So, of course, and I mean, you will most definitely find uh, uh, cattle in these places. What I'm realizing is that... The sea salt is very strong. It actually made me so sick and I started feeling lightheaded. Right. And I was also told that the salt there is so powerful that it, if it touches your shoe mm -hmm. or anything materialistic, it ruins it right. completely. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I liked my experience. Don't worry if my voice is a bit low. It's even advised to wear sunglasses when you're in such a place. Um, why? Because the white is just too strong. The eye is not used to it. It's it's too short for your eye to adapt to it. So uh, it's very important, yeah, to protect your eyes when you're going to a salt site. <clears throat> Make sure you have some uh, nice shoes. And I, when I say nice, not uh, not open shoes. If you have to protect your foot because uh, the salt is just too <clears throat> too aggressive. Oh, the energy is gone. But the experience was amazing mm -hmm. and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoy such vlogs. If you do enjoy such vlogs, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Yes, I loved it. Thank you so much. So whatever you thought, if it's any different in your country or your area, let me know. Subscribe if you're new here and share the video to your friends and your family. I'm going to be seeing you next on my on my next video. My next adventure. Hmm. What should I do next? What should I do next? <laughs> Kindly let me know if there's something you'd like to see me do. If there's something you'd like to see me do, kindly let me know in the comment section. Just let me know. And if I can do it, I'll gladly 
do it. But otherwise, <coughs> goodbye till next time. Bye. <laughs> yeah, guys, and it's, it's the same for me. You know, just make sure if you want me to make to do a reaction to um, a content creator from Africa, anywhere in Africa, feel free to leave their link in the description below, and I will most definitely bring you that because your wish is my command. So yeah, same. I mean, same thing for me. Make sure you let me know. Except for singers, because with the copyright, it's a bit more complicated to react to to singers. So that is a bit tricky for for uh, for me, you know. So yeah, but any content creator bringing Africa to the world, showing beautiful places, uh, wh whatever you're watching me from, just let me know. <clears throat> okay. All right. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction as much as I did. My goodness, I didn't know that you have like uh, a pink sea in Kilifi. I had no idea. And it was so nice to discover this from our sister Caroline. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you loved it as much as I did. And until next time, bye.